Okay, ladies and gents, today's tutorial is called Things You May or May Not Know About the Freehand and Brush Tool. The Freehand and Brush Tool is one of three of the line drawing tools available to you in Zara. Um, the first one being the Freehand and Brush Tool right here, the next being the Straight Line Tool, and the last one being the Shape Tool. <clears throat> now, the Freehand Tool is the one that looks like a pen drawing a circle. You can select it either by click clicking on its icon or by pressing in on the keyboard to select the tool. Uh, one of the first things you can do is uh, draw, uh, do freehand drawing with the freehand and brush tool. Just click your mouse and draw away. Right? You just do it in a complete freehand way and it will follow you however you uh, move your mouse. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is something called uh, the smoothing uh, slider right here, freehand smoothing, and uh, this refit uh, indicator. Uh, the freehand slider what will allow you to adjust how smooth or, or exactly it should follow uh, the movement of your mouse. So it, it, while this refit uh, indicator is lit, when it says refit here, um, you can still adjust the line that you just finished drawing. When it's not uh, indicated here, when this is blank, then you cannot adjust it anymore with this uh, smoother. Uh, so right now I have mine set to 25%. That's how much smoothing I like. If I increase it to 100%, you can see that my line gets smoother and I get far fewer points. If I decide to change it back, and do less smoothing, I get more points and it becomes a bit more jaggy. 25% uh, is, like I say, about where I like it. If you took it all the way down to zero, it would get even more jaggy and have hundreds of points as you go along. Uh, this is at 1%, right? So, like I say, 25% is about where I like it when I do my drawing. But you can do it however you like. Uh, the next thing I want to uh, to talk about is erasing while drawing. Okay, so let me go ahead and delete this, and I will start to draw something similar to a circle, but oh, I messed up. I uh, didn't quite get it where I wanted to, so I can hit the shift key, or hold down the shift key, and go back over it the way I was until I get to the point where I say, okay, there, I, that's about right, and then I let go of the shift key, and I keep drawing again, and go back up, and can draw more or less my circle. Yeah? So that's called erasing while drawing, and again, holding down the shift key is what uh, allows you to do that. Now, once I've done this, I can't really do anything more with it. I, so once I've let go of the mouse button, I can't uh, go back to erasing it. I can't hold down the shift key and, and erase again. Um... So let's get rid of that. Now let's uh, start drawing a circle. And then I all of a sudden I want to draw a straight line. So I'm going to hold down the Alt key. And now all of a sudden I get a straight line. Yeah? No matter which way I go with my mouse pointer, I'm going to get a straight line. Right? I could lead it up there or whatever. Um, if I want to constrain my straight line to... Uh, various points. I can hold down the control key at the same time. Control, alt, right? And then I only get, you know, straight up and down, 45 degrees, um, 90 degrees, that kind of thing, right? Around the, the eight compass points, which is something I have set up in options. All right, so hold it. That's control and alt to get the straight line that is constrained. Okay, and then uh, uh, to extend the line, right? So I've got this line already drawn, but I want to extend it beyond where I've drawn it to that point. So I can move over one of these endpoints, and you see how I get the little plus sign that appears on the uh, on the cursor? Uh, that uh, means I can, from that point forward, extend that line. So I'm going to click on there, and then draw. And this is all still one line, right? If I look down here, I see one line on the mouse off layer. Yeah? Okay, and then... Uh, Let's try uh, joining two lines. So, whoops, let's delete this. So I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to do this. Okay, so I've got two lines, and I want to join them up. So I'm going to take, I select one, and I'm going to hold down the shift key, 
and select the other one. So I've got both of them selected. Yeah, and now I want to close my shape. So I'm going to select this, and then I can go from one, get the plus sign, right to the other. And when a plus sign goes up again, I can let it go. And now, instead of two lines, I have one line on the mouse off layer. Yeah, excellent. And then the last thing I'm going to do with this is called uh, closing a shape. So uh, if I'm going to do the same thing before, I still have my one line. I'm going to get my plus symbol, go straight over, and close it, and now I have a closed shape. All right, that's it for, um, for right now. Uh, I'm going to come back and talk about uh, a, a variety of other things. Creating brushes is one of the things, uh, applying, um, applying a, a brush or a, a stroke shape. Uh, and then I'm going to talk about these three buttons here. Uh, they're en enable and, and disable pressure recording, uh, enable and disable sketch mode, and enable and disable trace mode. But like I say, I'll, f I'll come back and talk about those in another tutorial. Thanks for that, and I hope you found that useful and uh, educational.